everyone, welcome to this code channel. Today, I will introduce about our new product, which is a DS KIP 343 NX. This is a door access facial recognition terminal. So, for now, I will link the arm here. It's a device, and this is a 4.3 inch screen size. And here, have a MI Pay card module, the built in card module here. And this is a camera with a wide angle. And the resolution is 484 x 272 And the behind here, have a LAN port Here is a connection to the door lock and the power cable This is the device Inside the power cable, the trial port and one in here This is a cable mount bracket This one is a wall mount bracket This is a user manual, have a power cable And all the wiring cable here You also can use this one to have a control the door And high adapters also can and now I'm going to inside the setting menu. Authenticating failed. By doing this, you need to wrong press the screen and key the activation password. Okay, here are the menu. The first one is a user. Here you can enroll your face by adding the plus icon. Enter your name. Okay, here you see I already enroll, and here also you can enroll the card and the pin. You cannot configure here, you need to configure in the software then. So I click accept, and here SCS is the access control setting. Here you can set the authentication mode, the NFC card, my fake card, and the door contact remain closed or remain open. And the open duration you need to set as here. So next is the time and attendance. Here is the attendance mode. So normally we disable it and then we set it at the software. So this one I also will introduce about the later part. The comb, comb setting is a network setting here. The wireless network. You can set DSCP or the setting IP. Next is the RS-485. This one is that you to connect to our controller or another card reader. So you need to enable it and then set the peripheral device as a controller, control unit or the card reader. And here also have a widget setting. And next is the ISAP. And this is device for the ISAP protocol 5.0 version. And here has a access to PIC Connect. You also can enable the PIC Connect services here. And then once your phone scan the device with serial number and QR code, then you can add to the phone to remotely open the door and lock the door. So here is a basic setting. Basic setting is have a shortcut key. What is a shortcut key? Shortcut key you can use the call and then redirect to the call room, call center, call specific room, and call X. Call room in which means that you can use this one to connect an uh, indoor station and then call to the indoor station have a two-way audio and that indoor station can have a remotely unlock the door. So call center that means you can call the center's device which is a software or the center indoor station. And here has a call X. Call X is let you to call to the Econnect X to have a remote remote unlock the door also. And we look here is a message setting for the voice setting, time setting, sleeping time, language and uh, all the basic info. And the biometric here. Here you can uh, do the face lightness level, recognition distance, where they be auto. And the security level you can set it higher. And the data. So for the data here, you can delete the data here, import the data, and export the data also. And for the maintenance, from here you can see the system information which is the device model name, serial number of the device, firmware version, MAC address, and the device QR code, production date. Device QR code is just now I was already say you can use this device QR code to scan to the hit on the X. So here you also can do it on the three setting, the three default setting and here and remote also. And now I will demo how my face to be the sensitivity, enter the, the room. Thank you. Yeah, as you can see, it will thank show you. thank you, the voice message and the thank you. name list here. So, thank you. Later part, I will going to introduce about the auto download, the software part, how to enroll the face and apply the setting. Thank you.
Yes. This one is a Deep Vision Show for it. And I already see here is the device that online is the same network with my PC. And click add. I put the naming for the device. Username and password. Add. So once add online, that means your PC and the terminal already adding successfully. So next step, we're going to the person here. Here we can add the person. The name is Mr. Lee. Add the face. There is a three option, which is upload, add photo, remote connection. So I click on remote connection and I choose my device. Here, I remove connection is from the device itself there and click OK. Add. After that, you need to go to the access control, access group under the access group. Select your person and your device. So if you like, if like that, you get the multiple access point here. So you can uh, at the same time to apply to all the device here. Click and then apply changes to device. Yeah, so that's all for the configuration here. And then you can see the monitoring here. I'm gonna go and scan my face, and then here is the real time monitoring. Thank you, thank you. As you see here, here is a mystery. Just now I know that one. Yeah, I'll show the picture. And if you want to retrieve the record, you can go to the time attendance module here. Attendance report Get event from device Then click search And you can see here This is the timing and the person name and the door station name yeah. If you want to export, then you can you just direct click or export It's a CSV file So that's all for my explanation about the configuration